the Japanese train amiibo, and they have a blog. So I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of this one because I really don't know. But the URL for actually both of these, because I'm going to show you two websites, are in the description below. Give them a read. Uh, so, you know, obviously I'm using Google Translate's Chrome extension here. Um, if you're having a hard time reading stuff, DeepL.com is a nearly perfect Japanese to English and back, back again translator. So use that. So uh, I've done a couple of videos on the Japanese Amiibo scene, but it's been well over a year. Um, and I, I think you guys would really enjoy this as something before I uh, ship off for winter break. So uh, he's got a couple of you know training guides. They're not really guides. I actually don't know who runs this, right? But they're not they're not really guide guides. Um, they're just you know things that he's found, right? You kind of have to translate a little bit, right? So like, what kind of character is Amiibo's Falco? That's Falco Amiibo, obviously, right? There's no mobility and the reach is not long, which is to say he's a bit slow. Hitboxes are short, but there are combos that are useful and can be shot down once you get close to the opponent. I'm assuming he's talking about spikes, right? This is really, really cool stuff. Um, I'm I'm personally a big fan of it. He's got good screenshots and just great. Um, just it's it's just I'm sorry I'm kind of geeking out here, but this is really cool stuff. Um, you should definitely. That's a fun picture right there. You should definitely go um, give this a look. And he's he's trained several amiibo um, at this point. Um, so it's it's really cool. The the Japanese, it's been a long time since I interacted with the Japanese scene besides just getting bin files and stuff. Um, but like the cool thing about the Japanese is that they're a lot better at figuring out the combos that Amiibo can do uh, than the Americans are, right? So when we first interacted with them, they, they didn't know about Incineroar Lolan Whip and that was really funny. Um, but their Amiibo, like their Falco Amiibo, combo the hell out of ours. It was nuts. And this was before 8.0, if I remember correctly. So he didn't have the built-in combos yet. So they figured it out, like, before Nintendo made it easy for us. So this this is really cool stuff. Um, I like to go on, he doesn't update very often, but I like to go on periodically and just kind of geek out um, about all the different, how, how to raise a brave man. He's talking about, he's talking about hero amiibo training, but Google Translate is as a brave man. That's funny. Um, that is really funny. So, yeah. So, I, I really enjoy um, the this Japanese blog. But there's a second one, actually. You should not, It's not Japanese, but there's a second one you should watch. So, this next one is actually brand new. He doesn't know that I'm going to uh, feature him. So, <laughs> surprise! Um, but this is AmiiboAcademy.blogspot.com. This is Dreamy J's website. That's right. Uh, Jay is a good friend of mine. Um Theme images, but oh, that, that's right. This is Blogger. Sorry, it's been like I used to have um, a Club Penguin blog on Blogger actually, and it's been like ten years since I used Blogspot. Um, this one's very new, but there's there's some training guides here as well that I really recommend. Um, G, you know, Dreamy J. Uh, I think was that by Destructo. Yeah, I don't know if Destructo is a good wolf, but Dreamy J is like the king, DDD king. Okay, if you've ever heard the term Mister Mallet. That's Jay. So I really recommend visiting both of these sites. Even if you're just bored and you're tired of Amiibo Doctor content, go read these. They're, they're, they're fun and it's really cool to see like how, um, it's cool to see what other people do with Amiibo, right? That's really, you know, the competition's like, that's great and all. I just want to see how other people take the stuff. So links are in the description below. Go give them a look.